to the pool. I love you too. Hello beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. Today's my birthday. I thought I would film a little bit, do like a mini birthday vlog of sorts. We're hanging out at the pool. It was cloudy earlier this morning and a little bit windy, but the sun came out full force. So we're having such a great, sorry, there's a truck driving by. <laughs> let, me, let me let it pass by. We're staying at an RV resort that has this amazing pool right by the lake. This gorgeous palm tree, the sun is out, so we're just having like a chill, chill pool day, hanging out with the family. Had some breakfast, hubby made some breakfast, thinking to um, have some sushi later, and some cake, and just hang out. So, probably include a few clips of that, mainly for memory. I think it'll be nice to remember. Just like a nice, family, fun-filled day. He wants to go pick up some sushi, ordered some sushi, and then some Amazon packages. He took the girls with him, so I'm here with Josiah. I'm gonna slather on my some more sunscreen. I just mentioned this in the previous vlog. This is Kopari. They're new, although some people said that this doesn't really protect from the sun that well, so I probably wouldn't use it unless you have like a pretty base tan going, even though it says SPF 50, but look how it looks, literally looks like liquid gold. It's like an oil type formula. Here, let me show you guys. And then just like really yeah. hydrating, luxurious feel and smells so good. Oh no. some fresh coffee beans. I'm going to be using the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I used it yesterday and to be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about it because I feel like, I mean, I understand the concept, like it's supposed to give you a luminous finish, but this makes me look like a bronzed tin man and I just don't like it. I don't know what it is. Because the thing with like highlighters and things like that, they can really emphasize texture. And although I don't have like crazy tight, like from a distance, it looks so beautiful and luminous and glowy, like a JLo glow finish. But again, I feel like I look like a Tin Man, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the only one. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and then hop in the car and meet you guys in there. I took a Louise. Oh my. God. <laughs> Um, I don't go ahead. What is going on? <laughs> I think that was so hard. That scared me for a minute, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, it looks good on camera. It actually looks pretty good in person too. Like, But for a minute there, I really had to do a double take. Um, all right, anyway, I'm talking about the foundation, by the way, for anybody that's like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Anyway, I, uh, I really need some coffee beans. If you watched my previous vlog, all I have are those Starbucks ones, and those are like my backup apocalypse coffee beans. I was looking at Google trying to find a good cafe, and this one popped up. It was like 20 minutes away. I feel like I passed 17 different cities to get here. So many highways, so many new, new construction zones going on. So much growth in this area, it's crazy. Um, it's called Heritage Cafe, had pretty good reviews, and I always look at the reviews, the pictures. I wanna see like how they make their coffee, so this place looked legit. 
Uh, so I'm gonna get some coffee beans and hopefully um, like a cappuccino as well. We'll see, I'll let you guys know my review. You guys, I think I found a gem. I told my husband, I said, this is such a cute cafe. It's like a sweet lady, older lady that owns a cafe. And he's like, LOL, I can see that being you. <laughs> 100%. But this cafe is so cute. So peaceful in there. She has like music playing on the TVs. She seems like such a sweet lady. And she has like a whole section of like a little Asian section of my got pokey sticks. We call them pokey sticks. Are they pokey or pocky sticks? I have a feeling they call it pocky sticks. They're pokey. Pokey? I would 100% come back here. She has a huge variety of different beans. I tried, I got these Guatemala Fancy. Um, I look for beans that have like roasted graham cracker, sweeter type notes. I don't really care for like the fruit notes. So we're gonna give these a try and I'll let you guys know. Oh, and they also got a cappuccino. So if you're in the area, I definitely recommend checking out this cafe. I inserted a few clips so you guys can see. Mm. Ooh, I like that. It's a little milky, but that's cappuccino. All right, I'm gonna head home now, um, and then I'll meet you guys at home. I'm having my husband park the car because I ain't about to. It's not my expertise backing up into this little thing, but I wanted to show you guys my cute little OOTD of the day. Got these Levi's on, my sneakers, and like a loose tee. Just like nice, comfy, casual. Just filmed a reel for Instagram for these rompers that I got yesterday. I wanted to share in this Amazon video. I'm wearing the black one right now, and I dressed it up with um, this purse, but it's still comfortable using these kicks right here and then a blazer. The other day, I wore it with my H&M like oversized blouse. You can definitely dress it down. You can wear it as is. I don't know. I never thought it'd be like a romper wear, but I searched Amazon the other day for rompers. And I found these right here, which I actually really like them. They're like, I think they were $19.99 and then they had a coupon code. I got them in all three colors in a size medium. This is the nutmeg color. The nutmeg is definitely more of like a purple gray than a brown like it shows on Amazon. But it is it's seamless in the sense that it looks like it doesn't have a seam, but the seam is actually on the inside. And nice and thick material, very, very comfortable. It is double lined on the inside here, so you genuinely don't have to wear anything underneath. So many times I will see people say like, oh, it's um, double lined, you don't have to wear anything underneath, and then I get it, and I'm like, mm, yes, I do. This one, you really don't. It is shorter, like the shorts are a little bit shorter. And then the straps are kind of long. It has like this scoop back in the back. Here, let me show you guys what it looks like without the blazer. I don't know. I really like it. I thought it was like a really good Amazon find. Sorry, I have like a whole setup here going for my Instagram reels. But this is what it looks like on me. I am 5'6". And I have a shorter toes, torso, longer legs. But I don't know. It's very... This is from the back. Personally, I'm very happy with the purchase. I'm keeping the black and the nutmeg. And then I ordered the white as well. But the white one I'm going to return because... I don't know, I just wasn't crazy how the white looked on me. If you're like pregnant, then I think um, any other colors will look really great. There's one girl that posted a review. She was pregnant. I think she was like 24 weeks and it looked so cute on her. Um, so yeah, just like a really good Amazon find. If you're looking for like a nice, comfortable romper, would highly recommend. I think they're pretty decent before they kind of, before they blow up on the internet because I have a feeling these <laughs> might end up on TikTok and then it's like you'll never be able to get your hands on them. This is now day three of this vlog. I originally just wanted to do birthday vlog, but I didn't film too much on my birthday. Um, and then, I don't know, here we are, day three. I'm gonna be taking off these lashes because this eye here, this is like day four or five of me having them on. This eye right here, some of the lashes are kind of wonky, like this section right here. I already repositioned them one time. This one's totally fine. If I had overlapped them, they would have been a lot better. But usually I remove them day four, for day five anyway 
So that's what I'm gonna do, and I think I'm gonna apply some Dark Swan of Denmark lashes. It's a colder day for the past two days. It went from like 80 on Sunday to like 60. It just plummeted, and then it's gonna be 50s next weekend. To remove them, I'm gonna use the Lash Links Remover Oil, like I usually do. One thing I noticed about this Amazon glue though, is it can be kind of hard to remove them off my natural lashes. Like it takes some effort. I don't know if it's the formula. Now I'm gonna go in with the Magic Primer and help get rid of those excess oils and things like that. Let me actually apply my Lash Serum first. I use this every single day to kind of help keep the lashes at a pretty decent length. I'm gonna use the Lash Links Glue and the Secret 03 Long Mix from Dark Swan. I really like Dark Swan lashes. I will say that some of their styles, like the volume ones, uh, at least for me, if I angle them the wrong way, I can sometimes feel them when I like squeeze my eyes. So I would say be mindful of placement, like how you place them, because it will make a difference in terms of if it irritates you or not. But otherwise, they have like very nice, very nice lash clusters. I think that's true for most lashes. I'm just gonna apply some glue to the top of the lash cluster, swipe it, place it, call it a day. The band on these is ridiculously thin, but again, um, the edges, I think it's the edges that are like pretty blunt, so you gotta be careful for those edges to make sure that they're not sticking, poking you in the waterline or anything like that. And I'm gonna overlap them ever so slightly because I like like a very seamless look going across. I feel like I want a little bit more oomph. I'm so used to the extras that I had on, they were so extra. So I think I'm gonna place some more clusters on top. I think I'm gonna do like a 14 in between the 14 and 12. And I'm gonna place it a little bit farther from the edge where the original one is, or the first layer is kind of almost in between. I think I'm gonna add one more 10, or the shortest one in the inner corner, because I feel like by not doing so, I'm shortening the look of my eyes, because it kind of like cuts off here. So if I add another cluster, it'll make the eyes look longer. But you have to be careful with the inner corners, because the inner corners is where it, you can get irritation, especially if you angle it and it's like irritating you. One way to know if it's the glue or the lash that's irritating you is to remove the lash cluster. If it goes away, then it's probably the lash cluster. If not, then it's sadly the glue. And I get questions a lot of um, what's like the best glue for sensitive eyes. It's hard to say because a lot of the glues are kind of similar in formulation. It's hard to say what the person is sensitive to. Like I'm not, you know, it's like one of those things. Uh, sometimes it's trial and error. I mentioned yesterday that it wasn't crazy about how the e.l.f. halo glow made me look like a tin man. I had no idea that you could actually use this in different ways. I was watching a YouTube video, I think it's from Merlena. She was kind of going through like what's worth splurging on and what's not. And she got to talking about like the Charlotte Tilbury version of this. And she was saying like she was wearing it under her foundation. And I'm like, what? I thought it was a foundation. Like I never, I don't have TikTok. I just knew that it was like, all the hype like last year and then into this year so I thought it was a foundation but there's different ways you can wear it. you can wear it on its own you can wear it on like the high points as a highlighter you can wear it underneath foundation so I was like let me try wearing it underneath foundation I'm not even gonna do any on my forehead because I feel like it's gonna make my forehead look too tin manny and then now I'm gonna go in with, let's go in with the L'Oreal. I was gonna use Giorgio Armani, but I use that for like more special type occasions. So this is similar in the fact that it's like very silky and I have to get a new one because I'm almost all out of this, but it has a very natural finish. It's not heavy, so and it doesn't really settle into fine lines or anything. So I really love it. I did a video reviewing this and the Giorgio Armani side by side. Although I feel like, wouldn't that be too much product? I guess we'll see. Hmm. That actually looks really nice. It doesn't look tin manny anymore. Like it looks luminous. On its own, I probably wouldn't use it, to be honest. I just don't like how it makes my skin look super 
like highlighty but underneath like a foundation or even as a highlighter let me try a little bit as although as a highlighter I feel like it's like a it's dark let me see maybe if I got a lighter shade well, it adds a little bit something I think but wow yeah huh there you have it folks definitely worth it I don't even want to look but I can feel it I was eating chocolate and we keep our chocolate in the fridge because it gets pretty hot in the RV so for it not to melt I've been just leaving it in the uh, fridge and I bit into something really hard and I was like there's no way that the the peanuts or those hazelnuts in this chocolate are that hard and then I'm like no I already have like a mini I chipped my tooth when I was younger my brother was like chasing me around and like hit my head when I fell down and I chipped I think this tooth and then I ended up chipping this one so like my two front teeth are both chipped and then I don't even want to look I'm kind of scared to look I'm not gonna show it on camera obviously because that's kind of gross <gasps> oh yeah oh, I don't know if it's the filling or the actual tooth that chipped it's not like we have a dentist locally my dentist back in New York this sucks I actually misspoke earlier. I ended up cracking my tooth, so it's not chipped. It's literally, I cracked it. It's in the molar all the way in the back. Um, so I'm gonna have to find a dentist and figure all that out. But um, we're running some errands now. Went to Home Depot, got this cute little cactus. I'm gonna put in the kitchen window. And then my husband's at Lowe's right now. So I wanted to show you guys, picked up the Target order. I wanted to show you guys some Easter things that I got. I wanted to get everything out of the way earlier. And I remembered about um, Yum Earth candies. Basically, like dye free, healthy candies, if you will, which candy's candy, but these are pretty good. Like, you know how Skittles have all those artificial dyes? So, if your kid's allergic to artificial dyes, you just want like a better alternative than Yum Earth. I think it's called Yum Earth. Um, let me show you guys. So, I picked up Easter eggs, of course. A fun pastel color. I got these plain baskets. They were like a dollar each. Cause the thing and was... I wanted this one. So I got the girls pink ones. Wow. These little what glittery color ones. Does Josiah have? And then Josiah, I got him a blue one. They had other colors, but they were not in stock at this store in particular. And I'm also filming on my iPhone, so I don't know if the quality kind of sucks, but I got this blue one for Josiah. I picked up some chalk because there's a lot of kids like playing with chalk. And then these are all the candies. I got four of each. So they have something called the Giggles right here. So they're kind of like Skittles, but a healthier version. So instead of using different type of dyes, they use, um, like for example, sweet potato, carrot, color, uh, stuff like that. So not bad. I mean, candy's candy, like I said, but it's just like a better alternative. And it is expensive. Like one of these will run you $3.99 but I'd rather have them eat this than Skittles. That's just where I'm at in life. It's not like I'm completely, like, one lady gave a Skittle one time at an RV park and they ate it. It's not like we're like, oh, Skittles, no. Um, but you try, you try to make an effort, you know? So I got those gummy fruits. These are Easter ones, little rabbits. And then the last ones are these guys here, jelly beans. So just picked up a bunch of these. I'm gonna put them in their eggs. Let's try them. Sneak them yeah. in. It's so hot in here. Okay, they look just like Skittles. Let's no, see if they, they actually don't. They taste look like... actually different. Well, here. some of them are like wonky shaped. Put them in here. But they still look like Skittles. Mm. It's different. It's right away. Weird. Yeah. It's still pretty good though. Yeah. yeah. But they're softer. Way softer. Way softer. Yeah. Green. You don't even have to try biting them. And I feel like they're more here. flavorful. Like they have. Yeah, no, More of an authentic so flavor. Good. I want the green. Mm -hmm. Okay, the jelly beans have, are like more translucent. Mm. For example, here's the yellow. Wow. Again, I'm using my phone, that so it's like good. not the best. <laughs> I took one. Here, try some. Mmm, the jelly beans are really good. Let me save some. Mmm, what, what do you guys think? Mm. They're good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they like it. This one's the best. Kid approved. We are home now. I feel like we're running errands. 
driving around at least makes you so tired. And then on top of that, I had major insomnia yesterday, last night. I don't know why. I went to bed at like 4 in the morning. I want to show you guys what I got on Amazon. I picked up a cleanser. If you watched my previous vlog, I mentioned that I needed a new cleanser. Love, love, love the Naturium one. I leave it on the counter and I love that it has a pump. But I saw this from Kors. It's a foaming cream cleanser. Should be great for dry skin. So I don't know. I just wanted to try something new. I feel like cleansers are one of those things you can kind of change out without your skin freaking out or anything like that um and then i also got the new so lancome now sells on amazon officially they have a storefront it's official legitimate and i saw that they came out with a new i pronounce it tent tent see now i don't even know how to pronounce it tent idole ultra whatever this guy right here the this one but this is the new one the old one i don't even have it my sister introduced me to the original Tent Indola Ultra Wear, that one. They were just like a little bit too matte for my liking and for my skin type. So I saw that they came out with a Care and Glow one, a glowier version if you will. Although I'm reading some of the reviews and I, I don't know. So I'm going to review it in a video and see. I work with Amazon Affiliate Program and Amazon Beauty. So I picked this up to try and review and see. And we'll see how it performs. I mean, it seems, I don't know, it seems like it's might not work if you have crazy dry skin. Like, I'm, like right now, I don't have any lotion on my hands, so they're pretty dry. And it, like, really goes into the creases and everything just from, like, one swipe. So, I don't know. We will see. But Lancome now, if you love luxury beauty, they now sell on Amazon. And then I got some Color Charm developer, and the next thing that I'm waiting for is the. I'm waiting for one more thing to come in. It's the Color Charm Wella toner. I think I got T18 because this hair is doing me no justice. I just. I don't love it. I colored it dark, I think sometime in December, like a dark blonde, and I loved how like rich it looked, but it started to fade a little bit. And I decided that I feel like I look best with blonde hair, like from my complexion and everything. I just feel like I look best with blonde hair, but I wasn't willing to bleach it. So I bought this sun touched spray that you can use either with heat, like a blow dryer, or in the sun. And we were on the beach, so it worked out perfectly well. It lightened my hair quite a bit. So if you look at the original color, like back in December when I colored it compared to now, it definitely lightened it, but now it's like a yellowy green sometimes i don't know i've been using a purple shampoo for the past month and the purple shampoo is like doing nothing for me so i'm like i'm gonna try to toner so i got 20 volume developer and then t t18 i mean what's the worst that can happen we'll try it in a video we will see i actually want to go ahead and give this foaming cream cleanser a try i'm not new to course i have their poreless skin cream here which is actually targeted towards oily combination skin it has salicylic acid in it but i like it because it's like a salicylic acid product but it feels moisturizing almost because it's like a cream moisturizer type product so it's been working well for my dry skin actually the second time i've repurchased it so i like it i'm gonna give this a try i mean a cleanser is a cleanser as long as it takes off your makeup doesn't dry out the skin oh and you know stuff like that i feel like it's a go i'm gonna wet my face apply a little bit to my mini pmd here love this thing because i feel like i'm getting a massage at the same time as I'm cleansing and it has the same vibration modes as their big one but this one's nice because it it gets into the inner corner and stuff I wouldn't say it's like too foamy okay, let me wash it off right off the bat I will say it feels different as I'm washing it off like it feels like a moisturizer it feels very moisturizing as I'm washing it off and it smells nice it smells like something you would get if you went to get like a facial and they have like their products like a lemus. My skin feels very hydrated. Definitely has that yogurt mask type feel. So I don't know. From first impressions, I like it. As long as it does the job, doesn't dry my skin out. Like my skin feels clean, but it feels moisturized. So I thought I'd give it a try and I do like it. It's the Greek yogurt foaming cream cleanser with pre and probiotics. So the nighttime, I'm going to apply my retinaldehyde cream from Naturium. I've tried it tretinone in the past and I've tried giving it, I gave it like three different chances, like three months at a time and my skin is just like, I wasn't willing to deal with all the dryness. I know so many people offer so many different tips, proper ways to use it in order to not get dryness and just wait it out. 
and I just feel like some for some people tretinoin is just it's too much it's just not it and my skin was definitely I just I don't know I didn't like it so there's that so retinaldehyde, retinaldehyde is like the next step down something that you can get over the counter before it converts to retinoic acid so I've been liking it it's a pretty good formula it haven't really experienced any dryness and I am feeling like my skin is looking more clear but it's only been about a month of using it so it's hard to say with stuff like that you have to use it long term to see but there's so much evidence behind um, vitamin A derivatives so this one's nice if you're kind of like sensitive to uh, tretinoin and I'm just gonna top it off with some moisturizer and that is it for nighttime routine that's kind of what I've been doing if I don't use the I don't use the retinaldehyde every single night and on days that I don't use it I'll use like a different serum but I try to keep it simple like I feel like in the summertime I try to keep it more simple wintertime I like to lather on my essences and all this stuff to kind of like keep my skin nice and supple and hydrated but during like this warmer hot humid days I kind of just like to keep it simple and that's it all right, look at that, fancy schmancy, not too bad. By the way, this coffee, the coffee beans that I got at the cafe, mm, they're actually not too bad. They're not my favorite favorite, but they're not awful. They're, I would say like somewhere in between, definitely better than my apocalypse <laughs> Starbucks beans. I think I'm gonna finish the vlog here, try to edit some stuff, do some things. Thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching along. Hopefully I'll see you guys very very soon